Hello, my name is Kenneth. I'm the designer of Digital and Crystal Screen Paint. Now, I've just done a video on a live raw um, drywall demonstration. We're going to go a little farther. I try to prove as much as possible exactly how good this uh, screen paint is. Okay, so this is the drywall we're using. And now, it's got paint, digital one, you know, I had a little fun with it. You know, markings all over it. It's got holes in it. You know, it's basically a beat up piece of drywall. All right, so. So your walls look like this. Well, where are you going to put the paint at? Um, you know, most people need to when they get ready to do a um, a a, um, a paint screen. They uh, basically have to prime it, and they want it to look white and perfect, and so forth. You know, and they want to sand it down really good. Now, if you got areas that are sticking out, like little hills, you know, um, where you had drilled in and you know pulled this drills out, and the, the plaster has pulled up that you might want to sand down all right but um after this no you don't have to um this right here is the digital wood crystal screen paint i went on from the top here a little inside there there you go and you just basically stir it up that's it just stir it up real good all right done there that's real easy huh you just take a roller, right? Dip in there a bit. Let's get that in there really good. All right, and we just come over to our wall here, and we start painting. Now, it's up to you. If you want to sand your wall down so it looks perfect, you know, you want a really flat wall, you want to sand it down, you know, it's up to you. But do not sand the paint. That's what I tell a lot of people, you know what I mean? It's okay if you sand your wall. That's not a problem. But do not sand the paint, please. All right. So, here we're right here. Get more paint there. Go back over here. Some really big holes here, don't we? Sure about that. Okay, here we go. You know, if you got really big holes in there, use putty to cover that over and sand it up. All right. For the smaller holes, it's going to cover. All right. And I would suggest anyone, if you have deep holes in your walls, such like this, um, you do want to get some putty and put it in there and sand that down but it doesn't have to be perfectly flat just to let you know that one right there majority of most holes will cover up with the paint something on the roller there and just want to come off get out of there make sure there's no drips you know that stuff you don't have it going on
I'm sorry, I'm not going to show the whole full demonstration on this. Just to give you a good idea, well, a demonstration on what you're going to see in a few minutes ago on the video. Just to give you a good idea on exactly how well the paint blends in. I don't want to run out of time on my camera here. That's it, just go over it again. Everything is smoothed out really good. Alright. there right like I said if you want to put a little putty in there put a little putty in there so move it out it's up to you you know what I mean it's up to you but do not sand the paint all right There you go. Done. All right. Now, that's the piece right there that, well, the color used to be, and this is the paint piece that it is now, color it is now. I'm going to put a projector on. And I'm going to watch this video. Now, I'm going to zoom in real quick. You can see, sir, about the brightness that comes from the paint, and that's what it does. You're gonna crystallize the wall, crystallize it in minutes, and you don't have to wait uh, forever for it to dry. It dries pretty quick. So that little bar you're seeing across right there, that bar is actually the paint is actually reflecting that much light. It's causing a glare across the screen. Now, I'm gonna put this on real quick so you can check this out. Sorry about my head being in the way. And like I said, if you want to go out and spend three, four hundred dollars for that uh, other brand, it's going to require you to go through so many applications. You can easily do this with Digimon Crystal Screen Paint that will only cost you $148 to $119 a gallon to $58 a quart. And you can do it easily in a fully lit room with no problem. Now, like I said, it's very easy to use. If you can paint a wall, you can paint a screen. It's that easy. And with Digital One, I will back up what it will do. If I say it can, you can paint on any color wall, you can do it. Any surface, or almost any surface, let's be clear here, it can do it. Well, I'm Kenneth Bird from Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. Thank you for watching this video demonstration. And you can order our paint right now. Just visit our website at www.digital1crystalscreenpaint.com. Thank you for watching.